I think my two greatest motivators are definitely music and food. I think that's probably quite a universal passion. <laughs> I love food, I love cooking, um, and I love music, and DJing and, and music production is, is my thing. So we were trying to take our EEG brain measuring kit out of the lab where everything's very controlled and it all looks very sciencey, sort of white coat kind of environment, into the real world, and not just the real world, into a, a real live action kitchen, and uh, Annie very kindly lent us her brain. Being the test subject was really fun, um, hard, like, so yeah, I'm being played amazing, danceable, very danceable music and then having like incredible food held under my nose and not being allowed to eat it or move. It would actually be a really effective form of torture, I think. Like I would have told all my secrets. It was fun, I'm excited to see what my brain says <laughs> what's going on. I just think it's going to be interesting to see what the brain scanner shows. I don't know enough about it, but my guess is that when you combine music that works with a certain food together, something clicks. Food is the most multi-sensory experience we have and that means there are a myriad of different ways that you can influence the way that someone experiences flavour. We're dealing with, with touch and sound and, and uh, vision and smell and taste. But when you think about music, we all have those associations where listening to music, listening to music we love, uh, uh, has an amazing capacity to evoke memories uh, and, and associations with food and we know the music, you, the music you listen to whilst you eat affects the way you taste the food uh, and, and the way you enjoy that. And not only that, whoever else has had a live DJ, you know, there in the kitchen. <laughs> when it's happening, it was quite amazing. Even, you know, for me and my sort of silly old uh, science lab approach, I thought this is definitely something I've not seen before. If these findings of ours are robust, they should hold true in the real world, which is messier more complex. So when we were thinking about what kind of uh, food and music pairings to do, I was thinking about types of music that I really like. Um, Jamaican came up straight away because I love playing Jamaican music, I love Jamaican food, so that was a really good one to do. Indian was a really interesting one to get to play some Bangra and some Bollywood music and cook tandoori chicken. Um, and then for the third one I thought we'd go like Dirty South style American barbecue and you know there's so much hip-hop that comes from Atlanta and that kind of area now and I'm playing so much stuff like that and also opening a restaurant with food from that area as well so that that just seemed like a natural choice as well. I definitely think that DJ Yoda is the person to be able to push music with food in mind and I I would like to think I'm the cook to be able to deliver food with music in mind. Sonic seasoning is definitely the way forward. It would be really cool to get further into this because um, I think there's so much to discover uh, and it's such an important universal thing, food and music, so I think there's tons, tons to find out.